Do you believe in miracles? That was the call made famous uh, by broadcaster Al Michaels after the United States hockey team defeated the Soviet Union's team in the semifinals of the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid. Uh, the game was a huge staple in American sports and sort of indirectly but kind of directly played a big role in the resolution of the Cold War. Uh, the game was an incredible spectacle because of its meaning, uh, the implications that it held, and because the talent difference was so wide and so much different in favor of the Soviets and that, and that is why it is and ever will be the greatest upset in sports history. So now we're going to talk about the meaning of the game. What did this game really mean? Well, the United States had not been a very good athletic country in the late 70s and the early 80s. Uh, they hadn't won a gold medal in anything for several years, not since Mark Spitz won his seven gold medals in 1972 Summer Olympics. Um, American sports in that time, they were at a low, and the gold medal put them back on the radar as an, ath as an athletic country. The United States winning this game was comparable to the Revolutionary War of sports. It revolutionized a lot of stuff, and it put the U.S back on the world stage instead of having them as a weak underdog that they were. Next we're going to talk about the implications of this game. What was at stake between these two teams and simply put world supremacy and being the number one superpower on the planet were hanging in the balance. It was so much of a thing that the winner, not that the winner of this game would be the number one superpower but that the United States, who's already up and coming and on the rise, defeating the already superpower Soviet Union, just put, propelled them to the top. It was so, so much more than a game. Uh, the tension between the United States and the USSR was so dangerous that World War III could have happened at any moment. Hydrogen bombs, possibly nuclear war fallouts, anything like that could have happened. Uh, there was so much more at stake than just a hockey game. Diplomatic tensions, war, supremacy, these were all up in the air. Not after the historic game. The next and final reason why this was such an incredible upset is because of the talent, the vast talent difference between these two teams. Um, this, I don't know how many of you know this, but back in 1980, the United States did not use professional athletes to compete in the Olympics. They used amateurs, so mainly college students and college athletes to play in the Olympics. And they were one of very, very few, if not the only, country to do this. So them going up against professionals was daunting right from the start. And then having the Soviet Union stand across from them. Uh, the Soviets won the gold medal in the Olympics in 1976, 1972, 1968, and 1964. So they had won four consecutive gold medals, and their squad was filled with world-class hockey players. Not just professionals, but the best of the best. Uh, they were seen, the Soviets were seen as unbeatable, and no one would have ever expected this to happen, especially considering... The United States coach, Herb Brooks, scheduled a exhibition game against the Soviet Union before they went to Lake Placid, and the Soviets beat the United States 12-3. to And so, you know, that says a, that says a lot right there. Uh, with the U.S. playing a bunch of college kids, a uh, victory seemed insurmountable. Uh, a testament to this, to this incredible game was after the United States put two goals in in the first period um, off uh, the best goalie in the world, uh, Vladislav uh, Tradiak, um, the USSR coach pulled him and didn't put him back in the game. And just because he gave up two goals to this team of young kids, it seemed like, just pulled him like that. Another big testament to how seriously 
the Soviets took this loss was many of their players were um, sent off to Siberia. They were just thrown out. They didn't want to be. A, they didn't want the country. Didn't want them a part of them. They had shamed the country. They had. Uh, they had not done right by uh, the Soviet Union, and so they were banished to Siberia after the loss. Um, the loss devastated the entire country, and the Soviet team uh, was never been the same after. And not just the Soviet team, but the whole country. The Soviet Union started to crumble shortly after, and a lot of it could be contributed to this loss. How much at stake in a single hockey game the United States uh, they came to play? Uh, a single victory in Olympic hockey pulled the entire nation in the midst of turmoil together. And like I said earlier, the game, it was so much more than just a game. There was much more at stake. There were political, humanitarian, and ethical aspirations riding on that game, as well as athletic prowess. The United States sent a team of misfit college hockey players up against the professional juggernaut that was the Soviet Union and defeated them in the greatest upset uh, in all of sports history. Uh, with the meaning of the game riding on the United States lack of athletic accomplishments, the political supremacist and power implications, and the enormous talent difference presented in front of them, uh, the scrappy United States team pulled off a win. They shocked the entire planet and continued on, continued on to beat Finland for the gold medal, which was also very important at, at Lake Placid. And is because of all these reasons, because the United States was just seen as an underdog, not only in sports, not only in that game, but as a country. And they pulled off this huge upset. They did right by their country. They sent the team of players like me and you, who could, couldn't know any better uh, of the game they were playing, and they just shocked the world, and that's why this is easily, easily the greatest upset in all of sports history. Now, Morrow, up to Schultz, 